oops, I better not rock. I'm going to hit y'all. Um, okay, y'all. We're going to exercise this morning. And from now on, three times a week. So, I'm going to shut this off. And I'm going to give y'all 30 minutes to get down in the floor. And I want all of you to be wearing your medical alert button. Because you might not be able to get up. But we have got to do this, y'all. It's important. So I'm going to shut y'all off now. And I'll be back in 30 minutes. <laughs> Did y'all really think I was serious? Oh my gosh, it was so hard to say that and keep a straight face. We're going to exercise. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you right now, as long as it's raining and I have to stay in, my videos will be like this, okay? Yeah. It's almost like when I drink a Mountain Dew. I know it's it's dark in here, isn't it? Is that better? I don't know. Y'all don't really need to see me. I can just talk. Now, there's a couple of things. And uh, I was thinking about it this morning when I was mopping. Now, I damp mop. Yes, Gerard, Greg, I'm going for the little Pocahontas look this morning. <laughs> yeah, goofy. Goofy as goofy. But anyway, um, I damp mop a lot more than I vacuum or I sweep. It's just almost as easy and it does a better job now y'all know i try to take good care of my floors and that little grit that gets on there especially when miss hazel and i are going in and outside dragging in bark um it's important to keep that that um bark and grit off your floors so there's that now i'm going to tell you when i mop though i fix water in a little bucket i have it's one of those things i wish i had gotten a couple more of but i didn't and um so i fix my mop water and i put just a little i mean a drop of soap in there and so i come in and I mop around an area and then I go back to the bathtub and I rinse my mop under the faucet. Then I wring it out really good and then I put it back in the clean mop water. Um, if you take your dirty mop directly and you put it into your clean mop water, that's the end of that water. Unless you just want to bring out your dirt. I mean, I don't see any point in that. But anyway, that's just what I do. And um, I love my uh, cheap flathead mop. And I need to put a screw in that, uh, a couple of screws, uh, pretty soon. But so far it's doing okay. So there's that. I've got some sour cream in the refrigerator. It's not, you know, it's not like it's going bad, but I don't want it to go bad. So I've been looking for recipes that use um, sour cream. I think I'm going to make some snickerdoodles. And then I'm going to freeze a bunch of them. Now, that's what I did with the last batch of cookies I made. 
and I put four cookies to a bag. Every day, I was taking out a bag of those cookies and thawing them. One day, I broke off a piece of a frozen cookie, and I was eating it. Now, I'm out of walnut, y'all, and I didn't buy any. They're pretty expensive. $8 for a big, you know, good-sized bag. Um, because I put nuts in all my baked goods. My bread, my uh, everything. Cookies. But I don't have any walnuts, so I think I'm going to make some snickerdoodles. What else? Oh, we were talking about how I was losing everything, and I lost Miss Hazel's uh, beautiful pink sweater, and I was feeling terrible, and I don't know if this person didn't believe that I found it, didn't believe I she actually had one, I don't know, but she said, I want to see the pink sweater. Now, I'm hoping she just wanted to see it because I told y'all how pretty it was. So, here is the lovely pink sweater. It's your little armholes. I like it because it covers her whole back. You have to be so careful, though, y'all. What size is this? Did I leave the tag in? No, I always take tags out of everything. Um, because in a lot of things, she wears an extra small, but then in some things, she wears a small. And it's just like our clothes. Two exact pieces of clothes do not fit the same. So anyway, let me see if I can show y'all. You see that? She's under there. My little princess. It was so funny this morning that um, she really, she stayed on the rug while I was mopping. She didn't want to get her feet wet. But um, let's see, what else? Oh, y'all know, or you may not know, California came out with a heavier duty plastic grocery bag and they're reusable and we have to pay a dime for them. So when I get my groceries at Walmart, if I want them to bag them up, it's 10 cents for each bag. Now y'all, they're great bags. I mean, you can use them like over and over and over. But when I was doing my little homeless project and giving clothes away and stuff like that, um, I used them all. I think I've got one left in my van. But um, I haven't been buying any. They just, I have a couple of um, boxes in the back of the van and I just have them put in there and anything like a gallon of milk or potatoes or Hazel's food. That doesn't have to be bagged or boxed up. So, um, one of y'all said, well, first of all, when we had the cheap ones that were free, I used to use those all the time for my bathroom trash bags. And they worked really good. And it saved money. They were free. Um, so, you know, we don't have those anymore. Now, I do have a plastic container outside that I was also using one in when I'm doing trimming and stuff around pulling weeds. And then when it gets full, I can dump it into my regular trash bag that's going to the dumpster. Um, but anyway, you know, I'm not buying bathroom trash bags. And y'all might know, speaking of bags, do you know what that is? You're right. 
put your hand in there. You reach down, grab it. Now, if you're smart, you'll get some mulch in there too because that's organic material. And then you just do it like that. No fuss, no muss. And you shake it a little bit, kind of like shake and bake. And then that way, the organic stuff mixes with the poo and it doesn't stink. And um, I think it degrades better. Now that's probably just in my mind. But these little bags are very versatile. Now y'all know I keep a couple of them in my little uh, project thing where I've got, you know, command hooks and all that stuff. Because you're always, if you're doing a little project, you've got a, something you need to throw away. And one of these is perfect. But not only is this Miss Hazel's poo poo bag, I'm using it as a bathroom trash bag. Now, it's not nearly big enough. It's tall enough, I think, but it's not nearly wide enough. But I just fold it down like this, and I open it as big as it'll go, and I put it down in my bathroom trash can, which is a small one, of course. Um, let's see, was there something else I was going to talk about? My orchid is so beautiful, y'all. Let, let me see if I can show you a close-up. Look at that. Can y'all see the yellow? Can you see the pink on the back? And look at the centers. Look at that. I mean, holy mackerel. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, that's it, y'all. I mean, this is a dumb little video. She wanted to take a nap. Um, I went out there and I made that little levee to keep the mulch and the uh, water from coming up on the back of the patio. And um, I had... Um, <clears throat> my only pair of trouser socks. You know, they're kind of like hose, but they're a little bit thicker. And they have the wider band at the top, and they come all the way. You know, they're kind of like knee socks. Well, I sacrificed one of them. I cut the toe off, and I put it on top of that little drain in the back, and then I used a uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Zip tie. Oh, goodness. Anyway, so I used a zip tie to attach it. And I got it just as tight as I could. So the water can go through there, but my pipe won't get uh, clogged like it did. And Jerry had to come over and unclog it for me. Um... Anything else stupid I can talk about? Not much. Not much at all, y'all. Nothing going on around the cottage. I wish there was. Carolyn, I'm waiting for your address, sweetie. I have your little package all made up and um, ready to go. In fact... I've got some returns that I have to do to Amazon. And all I have to do is put my mask on, my gloves, set my packages inside the door, and that's it. That's all I have to do. So please don't freak out, y'all. And I can't get started on this horrible, horrible thing in our country because I will just blow a gasket at our government. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sit here, 
Do y'all know these braids will still be wet at bedtime? I don't know why my hair doesn't dry. But anyway, it doesn't matter why it doesn't dry. Now my kitchen is clean. I'm going to um, peel and slice up sweet potatoes to make sweet potato bread. And I'll put that in nice thick slices and freeze it. Y'all, I love that stuff with butter on it. I'm really missing my butter. It's cool enough in the house that room temperature butter is not soft. Somebody said to make bagels. Now, I've got uh, bread flour. I'm going to see if I can find a recipe that doesn't take two days to make. And um, I've got uh, that little noise you just heard. Ooh, that's my little daughter wanting me to FaceTime me thing. So I got to let y'all go and I'll talk to you later. Do something fun today. Bye, y'all.